If you're a heating air conditioning technician or even a salesperson, what's the power of a difficult conversation and why does this matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. So here's the thing. At some point, you may look at your life and say, there's things that I want to do. I want success. I want to achieve. I want to close deals. I want to make deals happen. I want to impress people. And here's the thing. The way that that happens is from skills, talents, and capabilities, but that's not enough. That's not going to be everything that you need to get there. You're going to need guidance. You're going to need people to impart wisdom. And with that being said, when you have a coach, when you have a mentor, when you have somebody you work with, there's typically a tough conversation. And I think of the true friends that I have in my life. I think of the mentors and I, have, I think of the coaches. And I think the conversations that have meant the most to me are typically the ones that stung a little bit at first, hurt my feelings, made me go, oh, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, right? And the reason for that is there's travel and then there's course correction. And course correction can be that thing that makes you go, that was hard. That was hard. But like if you're off task, if you're off track and you've got struggles going on, the best thing to have happen is somebody to pull you back and put you on course. And this is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. So course correction hurts. I've got my notes right here and I got a couple things to go over with you. At the end of the day, everybody answers to somebody. I sat next to a billionaire probably about a month ago and had some pretty insightful conversations. And it was an impactful conversation that I had with this billionaire. And at the same time, it wasn't really like he was chewing my butt, but he said some things that, that caught my attention. And he said, look, look, at the end of the day, everybody answers to somebody. And for his companies, he had to answer to some of his shareholders. And at the end of the day, in his personal life, he had to answer to his wife. And so these meaningful contact conversations, these meaningful conversations that you can have or that I can have are those ones to take note of. The other day, I was talking to my friend Mitch. And he said something to me. And he, he called me out for something. He wasn't doing it to be mean. He was doing it as a friendship. And it's important to realize that the people that truly care about you in your life, your friends, your family, your coaches, your mentors, the people who are teaching you to be better may say things and do things for your betterment, not to hurt you, but to help you. But in, in, in the long run, it's one of those things when you take a look at it, you're like, that was painful where I went through it. Because a lot of times it's an acknowledgement that you're either doing something wrong, you're not doing enough, or you need to make a course correction and change or change the way that you're thinking. Like, hi, I'm Scott. I screw up on average four times a day. Are there times where I need to change my thinking? Absolutely, right? So like, please understand, this isn't me taking fingers and pointing them at you. I'm taking every single one of my 10 fingers and pointing them back at me and saying, look, at the end of the day, there's struggles that I go through too. Uh, but if you're getting brand new into sales, there's going to be a point where you talk to your your manager. There's going to be a time where you talk to your business owner and they're going to they're going to pull out a piece of paper and they're going to say, hey, dude, chick, you know, the metric is this and you're just not meeting it. So a good coach or a mentor is going to say, what do you think that you need and what are you committed to doing? A bad coach or a bad person, not a coach or a mentor, because like they're not a good coach or a mentor, are just going to scream and yell at you. That doesn't motivate you, right? That's like, I mean, we're adults here. Screaming and yelling doesn't motivate me. It doesn't. It makes me mad. And then it makes me not want to do what you just screamed and yelled at me for. So, you know, when it comes down to it, sometimes these conversations are at a time that you need them. Sometimes they're a conversation that you dread having, and sometimes it's a combination where it's a surprise and you started off with one topic and you went to another. There could be a good time where I met with one of my mentors and he just absolutely chewed me out for something that I was doing, and at first it hurt my feelings. At first I was like, this is wrong, and then I realized, like, no, look, this person, this guy is trying to keep me on my path. He's trying to keep me on my mission and purpose, and the thing is he's doing it out of care, but it's also his role and responsibility as a coach or a mentor. So I, I say this, there's times where I put out YouTube videos, there's times where I put out podcasts and I say things and people get riled up. Well, I'm giving you my view from training for 10 years. I'm giving you my view from ride-alongs over 10 years. I'm giving you my view from sales for 20 years. I'm giving you my view after sitting in with some of the best entrepreneurs in the world for masterminds. So like, there's things that I share with people. There's things that I have conversations about. Um... There's things that, that I deal with that really got to get done. And so just like you, there's, there's struggles that we face. There are struggles that you face. And 
there's things that got to get taken care of. And sometimes they are the conversation that you don't want. There you go. The last thing that I'm going to tell you is keep a journal and maintain the information that you have and do what you got to do to get better. And if your feelings get hurt, ask yourself, did my feelings get hurt because it's true? Did my feelings get hurt because it's uncomfortable? Did my feelings get hurt because of pride? And then R is, is what I told was told true because that really does matter. You got one or two things to do from here. Just one or two. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update or hit follow. We'll see you soon.